Students here in Canada at the University of Alberta uh, have decided to open an exhibit, like a photo exhibit, dedicated to the recent events in Ukraine and Crimea. Um, we were tar we are targeting a broad audience. Uh, well, these are mostly graduate students, undergraduate students, professors, people of different background, and our main target is to ra raise awareness awareness about the events that have been happening in Ukraine, events in Kiev, events in Crimea, and we are trying to give a honest opinion about what's going on. Lots of people are victims of Russian propaganda and they really don't know what was happening in, in Ukraine and that's why they cannot have they cannot form their own opinion about what's going on. So what we are trying to do is to give an accurate uh, information and show some photographs. In the very early um, ancient time, that was a part of the Roman Empire, so that was kind of location uh, that was already um, engaged with the world history and settled, and that was uh, uh, kind of small. And that was uh, a note uh, about uh, what is going on, who is um, talking about Yanukovych on Maidan, and kind of planning for the repressive personally and individually and uh, after his, uh, his escape uh, when not after just during all the like uh, violent stage in on Maidan that was a kind of some means uh, idea that probably there is a kind of Russian Jewish so from, from Russian side push him uh, to be repressive against the protester and now he is not more in the in the country and so that is mean that Ukraine is going out from Russian control and the deeds that is we really can see in Crimea can evidence that in Russia trying by any means to to, 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 yeah. Yeah, just to control Ukraine and to take it back. Like under the Russian influence. I mean, Russian, not the country, but Russian, the state, the government, the Russian government. government. Because that is true, because I, I, I have been following the story, and I noticed that um, Yanukovych has suspended the agreement with EU to join with Russia, yeah. which I knew was, and the people probably did not support that, why right? yeah. they protested. They didn't want to go along with the Soviet Union. No. But the question is this if Russia says that 60% of um, Crimeans are ethnic Russians, yeah. and these are the people that they are trying to protect. Yeah. What about the Tatar and the ethnic Ukrainians? Yeah, but we have again, we have ethnic uh, Romanian, yeah. ethnic uh, Hungarian, we have ethnic Polish people, we have uh, we have a Swedish village there too. Yeah, and uh, ancestral people with a Greek heritage. So should all this country come? invade their troops to protect them on Ukraine, so is it the question? But in every nation, in every country there are minorities, and you're right, and majority of people, so it's not the problem to fight. Exactly, and what I'm trying to say is if you vote, because I know the Tatar and the ethnic Ukrainians probably have been there longer than the ethnic Russians, because mm -hmm. the ethnic Russians probably migrated after the Tatar, right? I'm or not it's sure not necessarily the case because if you Tatars were long because the Ottoman Empire was there, like from Turkey coming like lots, long time ago, in which yeah, century? Is, well, so Crimea was uh, in the within different like civilization layers, even within the whole Ukraine, 
that was in the media of all the time, that was Venice. And uh, George, George Washington mm -hmm. uh, is planning to enter the galaxy, the USS uh, six, six Fleet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are planning to enter the galaxy, but actually there is no aircraft carrier could enter the Black Sea. Okay, entering the Black Sea. So I think that it's in the neutral waters. Yeah, I think it's still... And this is very relevant right now topic. So our uh, folklore center decided to raise awareness among students about this um, problem that Ukrainian nation went through, injustice and all this um, inhuman treatment from forces that are people who are in power. So our uh, exposition about Maidan was organized by uh, Kul Folklore Center with the support of Department of Modern Languages and Cultural Studies. Uh, so our idea is the, uh, to raise the attention of the students of the University of Alberta to the current situation in Maidan, uh, in Ukraine and on Maidan. And actually uh, information is uh, over the media, all over the world, uh, and there is a lot of discussion about. Uh, and we think that uh, it's important uh, to bring the attention, maybe to give uh, more focus and uh, to give the um, ideas about how it starts and what were the most important points in order um, to engage the community as the uh, uh, University of Alberta located in uh, the um, uh, Canadian province with a big amount of um, Ukrainian population or the um, ethnically or uh, with the Ukrainian heritage people and it's uh, important, uh, it's still in uh, discussion and uh, if this discussion is bringing into the focus it can be uh, more productive, it can be uh, the ground, the platform for the exchange of the ideas. So I see there's a lot of uh, disturbance going on in Ukraine and Russia is forcefully kind of taking over Crimea. I support Ukraine and I hope they get a stable government pretty soon because um, they deserve to carry on their democratic government and they deserve to join EU.